Can you tell us about the circumstances through which you first came into contact with the Young Witness Service? Yeah, it was um, something that happened when I was 14 and I was um, sexually assaulted by my friend's dad. I first came into contact with the Young Witness Service when it first went to the police and it was Julie, the police officer, that obviously put me through to Angela and she took me for the court visit so I could see the court and then obviously each time I went to court Angela came with me. With being in court again obviously I got to do the pre-court visit which I never even knew I could do that. Also when we went to court you know all the other things I can do you know like the video link I got told about all the options I can do when I'm in court. Actually I had been to court before about kind of the same incident but not proper stood up in court like would never knew about the video link or anything so I was more worried about being in the court having to stand and then obviously I got told I can actually not be in the room I can do it by video link which obviously that's what I chose so I didn't want to do the screen because I would have still been in the room so I preferred the option of not having to be in the courtroom at all. I found it much easier because I wouldn't have wanted to sit in the courtroom at all knowing that he was in the same room as me. I was obviously in a little room just on my own with an usher so it's quite, well it's still obviously not very nice being in court but it's much easier doing it that way. How would you have felt without that support? I don't think I would have been able to do it without Angela because I did pretty much everything with Angela. I did the pre-court visit, found out about the video link. My mum was a witness so I would have been on, in court on my own which obviously at that time I obviously needed a bit of support so it did help a lot. You see, after he got found guilty, and then um, after the court, I got they gave me all the option if I still want support afterwards, and gave well, it just gave me the set of all the options I can do for afterwards, and if I wanted like cancelling and stuff like that, so it was very helpful. I'm a volunteer and I've done it for, I think, it must be three years um, and I'm retired and this was something that I wanted to do when I was, when I retired. I've got children of my own including a learning disabled son so I'm always thinking how would I feel if my children were giving evidence in court and I would want them to have the best support possible. I think it enables them to give the best evidence that they possibly could. Just having somebody with them that knows the ropes a bit really, because that's the daunting thing. It's unknown, isn't it? Um, and also uh, pointing them in the right direction afterwards. If counselling is required, um, they can always phone up and say, you know, I do think I need somebody to talk to. I was the only caseworker that dealt with um, Demi's case. And the advantage of that is you can build up a rapport, which is very important um, when you're supporting somebody who is clearly nervous and with every reason to be. I think it was a terrifying experience for, for her. And yes, I think she's um, benefited from support, um, but she's given a lot herself. And I've learnt a lot from her, actually, which has, all, has been helpful. And um, I am happy that she is a, a very confident person now. Um, and I hope the Young Witness Service supported her to be so.